assalamu alaikum uh, this is your second online lecture and we are starting unit number 4 on page number 145 index number so what is index number a statistical measure of relative change in a variable or group of related variables from time to time or place to place is called index number so index number is a statistical measure that measures the changes uh, in some quantities one uh, it, it measures the changes in one variable or uh, a group of variable from time to time and from place to place uh, there are different kinds of index number the most popular and the uh, mostly used index number is price index number then we have quantity index number and value index number but according to your course we will just discuss the price index number uh, what is a price index number price index number measures the general relative change in the wholesale or retail prices of a commodity or a group of commodities at current period as compared to some previous period known as a base period so um, in price index number uh, the price index number is a formula that measures the uh, prices the change in prices whether it is wholesale price or retail price of commodities it measures the prices of single commodities or a uh, single commodity or a group of commodity at a current period current period is a current year or current month and we compare this current period with previous period and then we compare that whether the price is increased or decrease or what uh, average change is um, has been occurred from uh, as compared to base period so uh, next we will discuss in detail now um, price index numbers are mainly of two types one is simple or uh, specific index number and the other one is composite or general index number so what is a simple index number in an index number that measures a relative change in single variable with respect to a base is called simple index number so whenever a single variable is used or whenever a price of just single variable is uh, to be measured or the change in the price of single variable is to be measured uh, so we use simple index number and what is composite index number an index number that measures an average relative change in a group of related variables which represent uh, which uh, with respect to a base is called composite index number so when you have a group of commodities or group of variables and uh, you are going to check these all uh, uh, the changes in all these uh, all the prices of this group of variables uh, so you will use um, composite index number and if you have just a single variable then you will use the simple index number uh, so uh, before uh, solving the questions we need to know the main steps that are involved in the construction of wholesale price index number so how you can find a price index number so these are the main steps which are involved in the construction of price index number first one is purpose of index number first of all you need to know the purpose of index number that why you are going to calculate or why you are calculating the index number a specific index number so you should have a specific purpose in your mind that uh, if you are going to Uh, calculate the price index number of uh, let's suppose sugar price of sugar so why you are uh, you need to know the purpose that why you are going to uh, calculate this um, index number and what is your uh, 
purpose so your purpose should be uh, clear and you have you have to define your purpose uh, firstly and then selection of commodity which commodities you are using for example i have uh, i uh, told you that if you are going to measure the price of uh, the index number about the price of sugar so the commodity which you are going to take is sugar then a uh, selection of price quotation now uh, which price quote quotation are you using if you are using if you are in pakistan you will use rupee if you are uh, somewhere abroad you will use dollar or pound so you have to specify your price quotation uh, about the current year then selection of base period base period is the period or year or month or any time which you are going to compare with which you are going to compare like uh, if i say that um, i have to compare or i am uh, i uh, require or i wish to compare the price of sugar or the price of gold with uh, the price of gold in 2001 so then the 2001 will be my base period now this base period uh, can be fixed and chain based so we will discuss in detail uh, how the fixed based uh, method is used and how the chain based method is used so base period can be selected in two ways a fixed based period and chain based period then selection of weights now some weights here means the importance Uh, so what uh, what is the importance of the commodity or what weightage is given to that commodity um, we will discuss in a detail but the weights should be specified um, clearly then selection of averages now if you are using composite so here we have uh, uh, read before that for composite index number the index number that measures an average relative change so which average now you are going to use so you will mainly the average is used mainly arithmetic mean median and um, geometric mean are used in uh, the average and when we will solve the questions and we will go to this topic in detail then it would be more clear to you so these were the six steps which are involved in the construction of index number now first of all we are going to discuss simple index number there are uh, two methods to calculate a simple index number one is fixed base method and the other one is uh, chain base method and today uh, we will discuss fixed base method what is a fixed based method a method in which a particular year or average of several years is generally chosen as the base period and uh, that remains fixed or unchanged throughout the index is called the fixed base period so a period uh, fixed base period, uh, period method or fixed base method is a method in which the base period will remain fixed or unchanged once you specify the base period it will remain fixed for all the indexes um, index number com index numbers computed by this method are price are called price relative so uh, whenever you use base period uh, base method or fixed base method so fixed base method the index numbers that would be computed by using fixed base method are called price relative so whenever in question if it is mentioned price relative so you uh, should keep in your mind that this is they are talking about fixed base method uh now according to this method price of current period is divided by the price of base period and this ratio is multiplied by 100 so this formula will make you more clear that price relative is equal to current period price divided by base period price multiplied by 100 uh, this formula 
mathematically or symbolically you will write like this that p not n p 0 n you will read as p not n or you will read this symbol as index number is equal to p n divided by p not multiplied by 100 where p not n is denote uh, denotes price of current year n as compared to base year so this uh, zero represent base year and this small n represent current year and here p n represent current year price that is the year which we are considering so uh, the years will be given to you and the year which we are considering is represented by p n and the year which is a base period the price of base year which uh, a year that is considered as base and that is fixed um, uh, prior uh, priorly the question or uh, that is fixed in the question that is given that this is a base period so this period is represented by p naught and then multiply by 100 this question or this example will make you more clear this is question example number 4.1 from um, taken from page number 149 okay Find the price relatives. Look now here it is written the price relatives which will, which will be clear to you and which should be clear to you that whenever price relatives are written. So you should take in your mind that this is they are talking about fixed base period. So find the price relatives for the following data of salt price per kg by using the price of 2000 as base so now this 2005 and its price is considered as base year and the other you will consider current year step by step now how you will calculate it since 2005 is given as base period therefore p naught now p naught is the price of uh, base year so p naught is equal to 15 here this 15 is your base and uh, price of base year now how you will compute the price relatives current year price divided by base year price multiply by 100 now here current year price is also 15 base year price is also 15 and when you multiply it by 100 this is equal to 100 then for 2006 uh, 6 base uh, current year is uh, price is 14 and base year price is 15 so 14 divided by 15 multiply by 100 you get 93.33 uh, then for 2007 uh, current year price is 20 and base year price is 15 so 20 divided by 15 multiply by 100 and up to so on by same method you will calculate all the price relatives so these are all the price relatives keeping 15 as base year price so i hope it is clear to you and this is assignment uh, your first online assignment is question number 4.8 and uh, this is uh, related to this fixed base method so first you follow this example on page number 149 and then solve this question uh, this question is on page number 169 and this is your first online assignment you will submit this assignment through email and i will send you email address on your whatsapp group thank you this is all for today